Okay, this is how you can create an org selector, just like the one that I'm showing you on the screen, to switch between your different kind organizations. So for my kind business, Sydney Southwest, I have these different organizations and a user can belong to more than one organization. If I have a look at my user, Peter at kind.com, you will notice that they belong to three organizations. They belong to Lakers, Default Org, and Nuggets. So I'm actually logged in as Peter at kind.com to this app, and you can see that I'm able to switch between Default Org, Nuggets, and Lakers. And as I switch between these different organizations, you'll see that there are different teams that, that pop up for me. But now, how do we actually create this org switcher? I'm gonna make it less pretty, but easier to understand. So I'm gonna comment this out so you guys can see a more simple version of our org switcher over here. It still works. Notice I click on the nuggets, take me to a different um, page. Default org, Lakers take me to a different page. And what is it actually in the code? So in the code, all it is is a list of login links where the org code is defined and it matches the organization code on the kind app. So if I have a look at my orgs, you can see that each organization has its own org code. And I'm looping through all of my orgs that this user belongs to, and I'm rendering out a login link for each one with the corresponding org code and org name. So that's how, that's basically it for the org selector. So you may be wondering where are we getting these orgs from? Where is this org code, org name coming from? Well, if we follow the props all the way through org selector, where does that get called? It's from here. The orgs are coming from the props. They go into layout breadcrumbs. So if I go into layout, layout breadcrumbs, it's over here. So we're getting the orgs from user orgs, orgs, and that's all the way up in here, which is get or get user organizations. So get user, user organizations is a function that you can grab from get kind server session. User orgs uh, equals to await get user organizations. And I'll just console log that out for you guys so you can see. Or maybe even better, I'll render it out on the screen. So let's do a pre tag json dot stringify user orgs null two cool and if i check on my app oh there are the org codes let's add padding left so this here is user orgs it has two parts it has org codes where it just lists out the different org codes it also has orgs, so it has more than just the codes now, it has the code and the name. And we're using this orgs bit from user orgs to render out our little org selector over here. Cool, so if you if you are missing this orgs part from user orgs, all you need to do is you need to go into your kind dashboard, go under settings, applications, go to the relevant application. So for me, it's my backend Next.js app. Go under tokens, and here you can actually customize your tokens to enable passing through that organization name. So you just have to click that one underneath your access token, save, hit save. And then if you log out and log back in again, you're gonna get these org codes showing up for you. So yeah, hopefully that made sense. Uh, if you wanna make it pretty like the one that we had to begin with, uh, I'm using a component library, ShadCN, to help me um, handle making it look nice. But the same thing stands. We're just looping through a list of organizations. We're rendering out the login link. And I'm just doing something special to show the current org that is selected. So yeah, that's it. Thanks guys.